So we didn't have an easy way to get the videos um, and understand how many people had seen them, the type, the campaign, um, the the description. Of course, this looks like it's a Chinese video, the very first one I stopped on. Um, but each of these things, when it was posted, the duration, all these things, you'd think we'd have an easy way to grab this from our database, but we didn't. So what I did was I built a loop. And the first thing I did, and let me show you here, There's right now there's no file here um, where the they're being extracted to, but I got a list of all the video URLs, and if I come on up in here, and let's take one, let's take this one, I don't know what it is, but, um, and I'm going to basically insert that into the URL, and I happen to pick that one that was, oh, was that a different one? Okay. Nope. So let's go ahead and grab uh, this one. So we can see it. Hopefully, it's in English. Good. Okay. And um, it goes through. It loops through. What I realized was there's the videos follow a very um, similar format for the URL structure, where it's this uh, beginning intro URL, and then there's the um, unique identifier after the the ampersand entry ID equals, and then this, which is the unique identifier for that video. So what I did was I created a list of um, I got a list of distinct video, um, let's change this to uh, monospace, so you can see they're all the same length, right, this is how I know, this is, these are all the distinct uh, identifiers for videos, and I wrote a script um, that'll navigate, it'll loop through each one of these pages, and then what I did in my script, when it gets to the page, I used this tool to come in here and say, oh, okay, what what is this here? Oh, this div3, right, or it's the entity title, um, and what it does is it goes and grabs this inner text and exports it to a text, I think it's a tab delimited file, and then it grabs the description and dumps it, and then I, I can show you here the views, right, it'll grab this views of 227 and extracts that. So, let me close this, and what I'm going to do here, um, this is, so this is the, the list of the videos, this is my actual script that uh, jumps, loops through, um, and does everything. So, in here, like I said, here's the uh, the link to the video. Here's where it inserts the unique identifier for each video, and then it loops through. Says wait for the page to load. Grab these elements from the page, and then somewhere down in here, it um, is appending those values to this videos.txt Unicode text file. Um, and so I've already launched this, but I'm going to run it, and I'm going to let it loop through. And first, let me show you again. In here, there's no file called videos.txt, um, and now I'm going to launch it, and it's going to start looping through each one of these. So it's going to go, it's going to rip everything from that page, now from this page, then from this page, and every time it does that, if we jump back over here, you'll see now there's this video.txt file, and this is going to incrementally getting larger and larger. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop the script because we've got uh, some data in there. And now we can see here's, and I have it actually drop in headers so I know what they are. And then here's, let me, um, I think, let's see if I copy this and paste it into Excel. It should look fairly pretty because the tabs break out, yes. So here's the posted date, here's the entry ID so I know which one it is. Uh, the duration of how long the video is, how many views, the title, description, tags, um, related info, related URLs. So it it since we didn't have any other way to get this, this saved us because there was uh let's see, I don't I don't remember how many. So we had almost three thousand videos. It it loops through all of them automatically, exported them, saved them into a file which. Um, I moved it just so I didn't overwrite my old file, but it. Uh, and then when you when you actually import it, let me show you how nice it ends up looking here. Um, because I even give you hyperlinks back to the video once you once I knew that formula, um, like in here, you can see I I inserted the hyperlink back into it, which made this file very convenient to jump back and forth um, and sorted by the number of views and duration, and it has all the fields and made it super easy. Thanks.